This is an article that was auto-generated by AI. And in it, we have a bunch of words that are hyperlinked to various websites. In this specific example, I am an online pharmacy called Pharma Plus. And in this article, every time Pharma Plus is written, that text is hyperlinked to my website, pharmaplus.ca. I'm also grabbing the words Big Pharma and linking that back to a Wikipedia article about that topic. This type of linking is good for navigation and site structure, increasing time on site, boosting page rank, enhancing the value of your content, anchoring specific keyword text, link building, and faster indexing because the Google bots can crawl your websites better. Many other use cases for this, and I'm going to show you how to do it all automatically. Let's get started. If you're completely new to this channel, head on over to youraiagent.com, enter your name, an email address, a password, re-enter your password, and then click sign up. It's going to drop you onto the settings page. In this video, we're going to walk through a Shopify store example how we can link specific words to other product pages on our website. So I'm going to click Shopify. We need to name the Shopify integration within youraiagent.com. Let's pretend my store sells rock climbing equipment. I'm going to call it Rock Climbers Inc. And next we need a few things from our Shopify dashboard. Here I am on the dashboard. I'm going to click on settings. And we need to grab our original Shopify store URL. I haven't connected a domain yet, so it's right here. I'm going to copy this text, head back into youraiagent.com and paste it in. Okay, now I need an access token. And for that, I'm going to click apps and sales channels, develop apps, allow custom app development. Let's click that again, create an app. I'm just going to call it your AI agent, click create app. We're going to configure admin API scopes. We only need two scopes. So I'm going to type blog. It is write and read content, click save. Then I'm going to click install app, install, reveal the token once, copy this token and paste it in here. Now we need our blog slug ID for that. I'm going to close this. Go to online store, click on blog posts. And I don't have a blog post yet because this is a brand new store. So I'm just going to click create blog post, call this whatever, click save. Now I can go back and click on manage blogs. We'll see a list of my blogs here. Click on whatever one you want to generate the content to. I'll click the default news one. And then the blog slug is in the URL. So it's these digits right here. I'm going to copy it, go back and paste it in, then click connect. If everything went through OK, you should have your newest connection at the top of this list here. You can rename it at any point or remove it altogether. Next, we're going to set up our API key. So I'm going to click on this tab up here. We connect to multiple large language models, OpenAI, Gemini, Claude, you can even connect your assistant that you have made in the developer console. For images, we have Stable Diffusion 3. In this video, I'm going to set up OpenAI and Stable Diffusion 3. So first, I'm going to click on this hyperlink. It takes me to my developer portal. I'm going to scroll down, click Create New Secret Key. I'm going to call it Internal Linking. Click Create Secret Key. Copy this key. Go back into Settings and paste it in. There we go. Now for the images, I want to use Stable Diffusion 3. So I'm going to click on this hyperlink. I have credits in my account, so I can click this plus button, confirm, copy that key, click confirm again, and paste it in here. Next, I'm going to click on subscription, then click subscribe. It will take me to a secured Stripe checkout page. Youraiagent.com is currently $9 per month. That includes unlimited workflows, unlimited generations, unlimited connections, and access to all of our AI agent tasks and features. Okay, once subscribed, it's going to drop you onto the home page. Here is where we get to select the agent task that we want to perform. 
So the internal external linking feature is available for both auto blogging and auto marketing. With auto blogging, we choose the keywords or titles to write articles about. With auto marketing, our AI agent does the keyword research for your business and generates articles on your behalf. In this video, let's select auto blogging. By default, it's going to auto select our latest connection. That's Rock Climbers Inc. But you can select another connection from this drop down menu. We have to choose whether we want to publish this article or leave it on a draft. Unchecking this toggle will leave it to draft. I want to publish this right away to my website. Next, let's choose our text model. We set up GPT 4 Turbo and GPT 3.5 Turbo through the OpenAI API. I'm going to select GPT 4 Turbo. Next, we'll select our image model. I'll keep it at Stable Diffusion 3. Our language is English. Our posting interval is how often we want to post articles to our website. By default, it's set to every one hour. We can also select random, and that randomizes a posting interval between one and 24 hours. Let's uncheck this. Link URL and link text is something that you want to appear at the bottom of your article. This is separate from what we're doing in this video. In the future, I'll make this section a bit more clear. I'm going to leave this blank for now to avoid confusion. Next, we have our text prompt and image prompt. So our text prompt is extra background information we want our models to know. I'm going to delete all of this right here and write, my business is called Rock Climbers. Please reference my business throughout the article. And hopefully the AI will start to mention my business and we can use this text in our internal linking feature down below here to get extra traffic and domain authority. Next is the image prompt. How do you want your images to look? By default, I write no words, illustration only, colorful and modern. Let's remove this portion of the image prompt and write photorealistic only. Next is my keyword list, or it can be titles list. If you've done the research already, you can select titles and input a bunch of article titles. And one by one, our AI agent is going to write content for them. If you haven't done your titles research yet, I can select keywords and start inputting a bunch of them in here. I'm going to enter a bunch of keywords, pause the video and resume in a second. All right, I entered a bunch of keywords. I put rock climbing gear, climbing shoes, bouldering, climbing harness, climbing gym. So this auto blogging AI agent is gonna write an article for each of these keywords. Now I can click the new internal linking feature and we have to designate text that we want to replace with a hyperlink. So let's do rock climbing gear. So whenever this text appears in the article, it is going to add a hyperlink. And let's say I have a product page that sells a nice package of rock climbing gear for beginners. I would want this hyperlink for all of that text. Okay, I'm back in Shopify. I'm going to go to products. We're going to add a product. I'm calling it rock climbing gear package beginners. I'll leave all this stuff blank because it's just an example. Let's say it's $99. Usually I'd have a nice image of the rock climbing package. Now I can go to save and then preview. Now this is just a preview URL. So your actual product URL may be different, but I'm going to take this entire thing, go back into my link section, paste it in for the hyperlink and then click add. It's going to pop up over on this right side. I can do this as many times as I want for as many keywords as I want. And I can always remove them at any point by clicking the remove button. So let's just stick with one internal link for now. Next, I have a categories and tags option. So for Shopify, we can enter a list of tags separated by a comma and each article will go in that specific tag. I'll add one tag in this input, that's climbing gear. So now it looks like we're all good. I'm gonna recheck my settings and then click generate posts. It brings us to the workflows page where I can rename my workflow. 
by default, I just have it as today's date and how many keywords are in this workflow. This is my connection, Rock Climbers Inc. The type is auto blogger. Interval is every one hour. I can cancel this workflow or I can edit an active running workflow by clicking on this edit button here. It shows all of our keywords, the tags we're using, our upcoming article date, that's one hour from now, the current keyword that we're gonna write an article for, that's climbing shoes, and if there are any errors. We're seeing all systems operational, which means this workflow is running as intended. Let's hop over to my Shopify website to see the result. Okay, this is the article, Essential Gear for Rock Climbing, A Beginner's Guide. Let's click on View Blog Posts. A beautiful, stable diffusion image. It's a bunch of rock climbing gear. I've never seen these type of shoes before. Maybe you have. Everything else looks pretty good. And this is the article. There's a few things I'm noticing. First, it added my company name, Rock Climbers, within the text. I prompted the model to do so, and it did it. Next, it hyperlinked the keyword rock climbing gear. And if I click on this link, look at this, it takes me to my product page. And now hopefully if a visitor was reading that article, it would click onto the keyword, go to the product page, and I would make a sale. Just what we wanted to do. If you want to try internal and external linking for yourself, Check out youraiagent.com. I have left a link in the description below. If you want to learn how to make these automatic article generators for yourself, I've built and designed an online course called How to Build a Custom AI App. A link will also be in the description. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch and I'll see you in there. Peace.